Hi traders, I'm back with a really quick video here just to let you know about the latest update to the PineScript language that the TradingView development team have added. Now this is an extremely simple update, so this is gonna be a very quick video, but it's a pretty cool update. The TradingView team have added tooltip functionality to our inputs. So let me read the words here. You can now add a short description to any user input using Pine's new tooltips. If you've used tooltips before on labels, it functions exactly the same. It's easy to do. Simply use the new tooltip parameter in any input call to have an eye icon appear next to the input, a little information icon. Hovering over the icon displays the string used as an argument for the tooltip parameter. Pretty simple. The only extra thing worth noting is that when inputs are combined using the inline parameter, meaning you've combined multiple inputs on the same line. If you're not sure what this inline parameter is, I'll leave a video up in the top right and in the video description linking to the previous video I did on the latest PineScript update, which was the inclusion of inline parameters and group parameters for organizing your user input interface. But anyway, if you have a bunch of inputs combined on the same line, the tooltip will be displayed at the end of that line. And basically it will apply to all of the inputs you have put on that line. So you can read about all updates to Pine in their user manuals release notes, which I'll also leave a link to below this video. And that's it. Uh, the TradingView team have been very busy updating the PineScript language in the past few months. It's great to see, but let's jump over into the Pine editor and I'll show you really quickly uh, how we can use this new tooltip parameter. All right, here I am on TradingView with just a simple strategy script added to my chart. Let's jump into the source code and we'll play around with this tooltip parameter. So here are a bunch of my user inputs for this script. The user inputs are actually pretty self-explanatory. So this isn't the best example of why you would use a tooltip, but I'm a huge fan personally of making your scripts as easy to use as humanly possible especially if you're going to publicly release them. And so this is a great habit to get into early now that this feature is a thing. So I would encourage you to do this for all of your inputs, no matter how self-explanatory they may appear to be. So to use this new parameter, it's really easy. We just need to write tooltip like we would any other parameter in this input function. It takes a string argument and I'm just gonna write test here really quickly just to demonstrate how this works visually. Now, if I come up to the settings menu, open this up, we now have this little eye icon next to this input, which is the first input in my code. And if I hover my mouse over it, we get a little pop-up there that says test. So in this particular script's case, the positive ATR filter means that the candle size must be above this multiplier of the ATR in order to be considered a valid signal. And the minus or negative ATR filter means it must be below this multiplier of the ATR. So by default, the way the script is set up, if the candle size of the current bar is greater than three times the current ATR, then the script ignores that setup. And so if I wanted to, I could explain that using this tooltip parameter so that the user knows what these two inputs do. So let's do that now. I'll just write out here, the minimum candle size compared to the current ATR. And then here I can say the maximum candle size compared to the current ATR. Now, if I save the script, let that update on TradingView servers, I come up to the settings menu. We now have two tooltips here that explain exactly in detail what these two input parameters do. And just really quickly while we're here, at the start of the video, I mentioned that if these were grouped onto one line using the inline parameter, then only the last tooltip would show on that line. So I'll show you exactly what that means really quickly. If I add in the inline parameter here, and we have the same inline parameter on both of these inputs. When I save the script, one of these um, information tooltip icons will go away and there will only be one left. And I believe it's the, the last tooltip you used is what stays on your interface. So let me save the script there, come up to the settings menu and yes. So now these are on one line because we have them both on the number one inline parameter. And the tooltip here is showing the last tooltip we wrote for those inputs, which is the maximum candle size. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you do use the inline parameter, 
just remember that your tooltip will show for all of the inputs included in uh, whichever inline group that you apply them to. So another really cool feature here, you've got to hand it to the TradingView team. They are always working to improve the PineScript language. This is the second quality of life update they've made to PineScript in the past two weeks. So if you're brand new to PineScript, you've picked the perfect language at the perfect time to get involved and learn this language because it is being constantly improved and the past few months have seen some major improvements in terms of the capabilities of PineScript and the quality of life for users of the scripts that you write. So that'll do it for today's video. If you are brand new to PineScript, head over to pinescriptbasics.com and sign up for my free PineScript Basics course, which will teach you the fundamentals of this language. And if you're new to the channel or you're not new to PineScript, hit the subscribe button because I will be back real soon with some more advanced PineScript lessons. Take care, everyone. Good luck with your trading. I'll see you in the next video.